Hi everybody, it's Kelly with Inky Hands Warm Hearts. How are you guys doing? I am very excited today because yesterday was an epic day, was it not? The new mini catalog went live. The new scrapbooking brochure is live. I have my stamp camp. Um, it is just so much happening and it is super exciting. So I just want to share all of the excitement that I have with you guys. <laughs> so I hope you will let me. <laughs> oh my gosh, I do have to print the graphic for the, um, for the stamp camp. I forgot to print that. So you're going to hear my printer probably, but I will be, while it's printing, I will... Um, um, gosh, I can't even think right now. Um, I will, be still doing my announcements while it prints. And, um, yeah. but it is very, very exciting. <clears throat> all right, so the first thing I wanna talk about is my Inky Hands crew, and I wanna welcome all the new members because I'm always so grateful for everybody who joins my crew. Um, these are the people that are the closest to me, of course. These are the people who support my business um, and help me continue to bring you the videos that you see here. If you're somebody that has been watching my videos for a year or more and you're using the projects and um, purchasing products from yourself, I would appreciate if you would join my crew and help support me. As I bring you this content, it is not free for me to make, even though the platform is free to use. Um, I have to buy product, I have to buy cardstock, I have to design the projects. It's a lot of work. And basically, the design part is the hardest, right? So you guys get that from me. And if you are a hobby demo and purchasing from yourself, but using my projects, um, basically, I would appreciate if you would join my crew. Not only do we do fun things as a group and will you get even better projects um, and more of them, but it would be a fantastic way for you to give back um, to the person that you've been using their designs. So I really appreciate it ev for everybody who joins my membership. If you are a customer and you just want more ideas, that's fantastic. I would love for you to join. Um, like I said, the crew is really my core people, the people that want lots more holiday content, lots more throughout the year when it's holiday... Uh, desert land right and there's no holiday stuff but we still want to create i bring you lots of content and some really fantastic projects and so um i just appreciate you guys joining my membership it's only 7.99 one time a month whatever day you join if you join today it's the fifth so on the fifth of every month they would send you would be billed 7.99 if you sign up today on the 5th and you don't like it and you cancel before the 5th of October, then no harm, no foul. You just paid for one month. Um, there's no obligation to stay, but I do appreciate those who continue to support me. So thank you very much. I just wanted to say thank you. Um, this Saturday, so in two days, I have a local um, class, my card fiesta that I have at the Mexican restaurant every other Saturday from 12.30 to 3.30. And so today is, well, not today, but in two days, this is the week. So I welcome anybody who's local and wants to join. You just have to send me an email to Kelly with an I, K-E-L-L-I, at inkyhandswarmhearts.com. And let me know that you are attending so that I can have a place set for you. All right, guys, if you spend $50 in my store this month, you will get my September tutorial bundle, and there are 40 projects in this. It's pretty awesome, and I'm always amazed at all the projects that we get for these tutorials. 
So I think you'll be very pleased with the projects. And anyway, I hope that you will join. There's also some more Halloween projects in here. So I think you will enjoy that. Um, make sure that you join by the end of September. And not join, make sure that you spend $50 by the end of September. And I will send you that cool tutorial. All right, so World Card Making Day, you can start registering um, September 3rd, which was uh, Tuesday, was the first day you could start registering. It's an hour event, but um, it's a free virtual event. But if you register for the event, you're going to get um, a freebie. I don't know what Stampin' Up! sending. They haven't told us, but all participants who register will get something free. Um, and so definitely register if you're going to attend. Um, the cool thing, it's on a virtual platform, so even if you can't watch it at that time, you can generally watch it after the fact. Um, but it is a lot of fun, and they will have some cool projects for us to do for World Card Making Day. So do not miss out. You only have a month to register. I think you have to register by like the 2nd of October or something. Um, and when you register, they will send you an email with the platform information and how to log in and all that good stuff. So um, join us for World Card Making Day on October 5th from 2 to 3 Mountain Time. So for me on the East Coast, it would be from 4 to 5. All right. Let's talk about... Oh, still, World, World Card Making Day. Sorry. <laughs> Let's talk about Paper Pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> Only a few more days till next Tuesday to register for the Autumn Abundance. And I have a feeling this is going to be a super adorable kit. I have a feeling this snail is pivotal. I'm hoping that there's a stamp with that adorable snail because I love him. He is so cute. And if you are a Paper Pumpkin subscriber already and you don't have the dies, make sure that you add on those dies before um, they are done. Because in October, we start a new quarter and there will be three new dies for the October, November, December kits. So don't miss out. Kits collection, which is like Paper Pumpkin, but you get to know what's inside of it. Like Paper Pumpkin's a subscribe. Uh, I mean, it's a su surprise <laughs> that you subscribe to. But the Kits Collection is not a surprise. So for August, oh, I don't have the September ones. I haven't, I haven't printed those yet. Sorry, guys. Um, there are two new kits for September, but I don't have them printed. I will share them on Tuesday. But um, the August ones were a Christmas Wish and a Haunted House Kit. And then don't forget um, about my PDFs that I have available in my online store. So if you go to inkyhandswarmhearts.com and then you click on shop, under the shop there's a section called PDF tutorials and um, retired products. I have all my retired stamps available for sale on my website. And also I have my PDFs from the design team I'm a part of called Creativity Abounds. And this is the stamp camp that I've been talking about. So um, all of the tutorials that we do, we have um, for sale on my website. And they are some amazing projects. Um, we have former artisans and current art. I keep calling them artisans, artisans and current artisans on our team. So don't miss out because it's super awesome. And the other thing that I do with Creativity Abounds is our stamp camp. So our stamp camp is reindeer fun. You're going to get 13 exclusive projects from 13 amazing demonstrators from all around the world. We have girls from the Netherlands, from New Zealand, from Australia, from the UK, from Canada, and from the US. So I would love it if you guys would join us. All you have to do to join is purchase the suite from me. And if you've already purchased this suite because you purchased it yesterday, you can purchase the same value um, of the suite in anything you want. As long as you use my host code, just let me know that you already have the suite and so you're going to purchase something else because you will need the suite to complete the 13 make and takes that you receive. Not only do you get the 13 make and takes, but you will get 13 bonus projects and a video tutorials, a PDF, bonus projects, and an exclusive Facebook group and live videos that you can watch over and over again for the alternate projects or bonus projects. So this is a fantastic opportunity and for a, the cutest set ever. So do not miss out. I um, will give you a link to register 
Um, it will be located on my website, so just check there and you should get the information that you need to sign up for Stamp Camp. So I would greatly appreciate that so much if you chose to come to Stamp Camp. You won't regret it because once you sign up once, you wanna be a part of all of them because they're amazing. So that's the um, plug for that. And then I also have paper piecing patterns on my website. So I will have a 2024 Halloween one. Once I'm done with all my projects, I will have one for the projects for 2024. So don't miss out on that. And I'm trying to think. I have the 2022 one. And then of course I also have Easter projects in a paper piecing pattern that you can purchase as well. Um, the new catalog went live yesterday. So it is pretty awesome and amazing. And I hope that you have been enjoying it. Don't forget that we also have a scrapbooking brochure. Um, so there's scrapbooking products available as well as our regular card making products. So don't miss out on that. And then um, potions and spells bundle is one of the bundles I've been using a ton, as well as Playful Ghosts. So if you haven't purchased those from the online exclusives, I would definitely recommend those. And oh, for the Paper Pumpkin for September, I forgot to mention that it makes nine cards, three each of three designs. You're gonna get um, printed cards, coordinating envelopes, laser cut card fronts, ephemera pack and embellishments, and the colors for the Paper Pumpkin are Cajun Craze, which is a Stampin' Spot, Crush Curry, Poppy Parade, Pumpkin Pie, Very Vanilla, and Wild Wheat. So thank you so, so much. All right, that's, whoops, that's it for announcements. So, as you guys saw on the promo for um, this video, we are making my bobblehead black cat treat box. Isn't she adorable with her crazy whiskers? I love this cute little cat and her bobblehead. So she is actually a treat box that opens. She has a cute little tail and um, she has an arched back. Can you see that her back is arched? <laughs> and inside um, of her is a Halloween treat. So in here I have the Franken cups. Of course, you guys know I love Frankenstein. So these are Reese Franken cups. So you can get those or you can put whatever candy you want that will fit in a two inch by two inch square. Um, you can fill it with um, an M&M pack or you can fill it with... Um, I don't know, Twix or candy corn or whatever your person loves, right? You can put Ferrero Rocher in there. Um, and not only is this good for Halloween, you can make this cat in millions of colors, right? For the cat lover in your life. So it is definitely the cutest. And I'm gonna teach you how to make this today. All right, let's start. I'm gonna put her over here in the corner. <laughs> We're gonna start with our um, basic black cardstock, and we are gonna make our box with this, okay? So let me grab my scoreboard. And it is five and a half by eight and a half, and we are going to score down the long side at two, at four, at six, and at eight. And on the short side, at two, and at four. All right, so there is your grid pattern. And then you have a piece that is four inch by two inch. Let me grab that, I put it in my little bag here, my little cellophane bag. So it's four inches by two inches and you're going to score this down the long side at half of an inch and then three and a half inches all right so this is what you need to do with that piece it gets two score marks all right that's all the scoring that we're going to do so let's go ahead and burnish on all our score lines so the raised 
um, piece is what you want to bend against, especially for black cardstock. Black cardstock is so thick. So definitely bend your black cardstock towards those raised lines. and burnish on all of those marks. All right, here we go. So we have eight two inch squares and four one and a half inch squares. And next to those one and a half inch squares is this little small piece here. And we're gonna discard that piece, okay? Oops, we don't need it. So I'm going to angle cut and then cut that piece right off here. And then down all these half inch, we are going to cut and cut. And I'm gonna cut on the other side because I like removing the thick um, scored mark. It just makes my box close better. It's prettier to look at when you open the flaps and it's just my thing. But if you don't want to, you can just cut right down that score line. I prefer to cut it away. All right. So after I've cut it away, I bring in my paper snips and I pull back and this little hangy part, see right there, um, I trim that because where I pulled that cardstock, it wasn't smooth. So I got to cut those little pieces off. And our paper snips are so thin, they are perfect for that. Okay. All right. For our next part of our box, um, this is going to form the front of our kitty cat. And now we need to form the back. So we're going to cut the opposite side the same way. So we're gonna go ahead and come down and remove that score line. And again, we don't need this piece. So we're only gonna use the small skinny tab in the center. When I get to that, I'll show you how I cut that away. So here we're gonna go ahead and cut on the right side of the score line to the bottom. And then we're gonna angle right here and that will get rid of that piece. And again, just like I did the first time, I'm gonna look for those little hangers and cut them away. Thank goodness for our paper stamps, right? They're amazing. All right, so we're getting rid of that right there. So this is what you will have, the smaller, the one and a half inches on the bottom, and then you have your tab here, and then you have this piece right here. All right. Before we put our box together, I wanna go ahead and get everything taken care of. So we're gonna cut our little cat tail and our cat head. And this will be a pattern that um, is sold in my paper piecing patterns. So I will have that available. And we're just, I traced my pattern onto some basic black cardstock, which is what you will need to do when you get yours. And then you will cut out your black cat face like I am doing. Put that to the side. And then I gotta cut the tail. So those are the extra pieces of the cat. I didn't use any stamp set on this set, but you could always stamp a little something 
Um, you could stamp the black cat from potions and spells, especially if you already have the set, onto a piece of white cardstock. And you could place it on the back end or the bottom of the cat um, and write your two from on there and happy Halloween if you want to. Um, I just think that using a stamp set there's really no place to attach a tag or anything on this kitty. Um, so like I said, if you want to put something on the bottom or even here on the back, you could do that. All right, so now that I have my pieces, I'm just gonna make sure that if there's any pencil marks on the edge that I, I erase them. So I always use a good white eraser. I don't know if this was the side that I cut because I don't see any pencil marks. Maybe it was this side, I don't know. I'm gonna do both to make, just to be safe. All right, so let's work on our kitty cat. So our kitty cat needs some ears and I used the Bumble Bee or Bee My Valentine um, punch and we have three basic gray, small hearts, okay? We also have two half inch black um, circles. We have two one inch black circles and two three quarter inch white circles. All right, and then I have cut, um, I can't even think right now what, I, what, I'm, what I'm talking about. Um, Baker's Twine from the Baker's Twine Essentials pack. Mine is almost done. I used the gray. Um, and so I cut three three inch lengths of that, okay? All right. We're doing good so far. I'm breathing, I'm trying to chill, relax, <laughs> not stress, okay? because I'm just getting into it. So we're gonna work on our little kitty cat's um, face. So we're gonna start with our silicone mat here. And we are going to take our three quarter inch white circles and we're gonna glue our half inch black circles into the center. Okay. Not exactly center, but close. Like right there, a little bit below center. All right, so there's our little cat eyes. And I would like to give them a little bit of white gel pen. Um, another little dot in the eye, okay. So we'll set those to the side. We don't need those yet. All right, and then you have two one inch black circles and you want to cut those in half. So you can either eyeball or you can bend them in half and then cut down the crease, but I'm just gonna eyeball. All right, and those are gonna be the little feet, the front and the back feet. All right, so we're gonna cut those in half and we are going to attach two of these little gray hearts as the ear. For this kitty cat. So we will put one over here and one over here. Such a cute kitty already. 
starting to come together. Then let's do the eyes. And the eyes we're going to attach with dimensionals. So I'm grabbing those. One of those in each eye should be enough. Oh my gosh, let me get my take your pick tool. Where is that thing? Here it is. I make my life so much harder than it needs to be by trying to avoid the take your pick tool, but I really don't need to. All right, so we're gonna grab our little cat eyes and we gotta figure out where we're gonna put them on our kitty cat. So I am going to add one like that and one like that and put them together right there. So cute so far. Now we're going to take our three inch twine pieces and we're gonna hold them all together. All right, just like that. And I'm gonna tie a knot in the middle. So I'm just gonna twist them and push the three ends through the middle here. Make sure that I have all three. One. Yes, I do. Let's hold on to this one. And then slowly, I'm just going to, I'm not going to pull it tight until I know that I have it in the middle. All right, so that looks middle-ish. And then I'm going to go ahead and pull that in a knot, just like that. I'm going to put it down there so that you, so you don't have to worry about these little things going everywhere, okay? Then our last little um, heart, we are going to add um, edges from our side of our mini dimensionals. So I'm going to put one edge on this side like that. And then I need a half piece. I'm actually going to cut it from here because this will be a good one, a little smaller. And we're going to add that one right there. Okay, so we want to have um, like a V, like that, of dimensional on the back of our heart. And you're going to take a little bit of glue and you're going to put a dot at the bottom, right there in between the eyeballs. And we're going to add our whiskers to that dot of glue. And then we're gonna add our little cat nose over the top of that knot, which will pop the nose up because it's foamed, just like that. Press that into place. Okay, so it's gonna give it a little dimension because it has the dimensionals on the back and then also that knot. So there's our little cat face, okay? Our cat face is done, our little paws are cut, our tail is ready. This is the back of the cat. This is going to be our cat back. So this middle section, we need to arch it. So in order to arch it, we're gonna grab our bone folder and we're gonna just run it in that middle section in both directions like this, then rotate it around and do it again. All right, and then these little score marks are gonna be attached. That was what will give you your back arch. All right, so let's go ahead and put together our kitty cat. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're going to put adhesive on this small tab and we're gonna close our box, okay, on the side. That will give us something to work with. So I'm just gonna press that in place and give that a second to set, okay? Now you have your big square, which is two inches, and then your one and a half inch square. The one and a half inch square is gonna go in the front, and then the big square is gonna go in the back like this, okay? The front is the opening and it's the shorter of the squares, all right? You guys with me so far? Okay. 
So what we're gonna do here is this is going to be the top of our cat. So we're going to adhere our flaps closed except for our last flap, which is this one, okay? So we're gonna glue all of our flaps in the back together. So we're gonna add a little glue to that side flap, glue the second side flap to it like that. Then we're gonna glue our top flap down like that. Okay, before we glue our, our bottom flap, I'm gonna flip this over, I'm gonna grab my bone folder and I'm gonna push down on the inside and make sure that it's nice and adhered. And we're gonna let that sit for a minute. We're going to attach our back onto our cat. So the back section here, this folded piece that we made, we're going to attach it underneath that flap that we're gonna cover up so you want to put some adhesive on our box right here and then we're going to attach this flap and you just want to make sure that it still bends over at your box and you're just going to hold it in place for it to grab oops come on i curled it so it's a little bit more challenging but we got it just hold on to it for a second until it grabs all right, so now the other folded part of our kitty cat, I'm gonna turn that upside down and just press like I did on the inside. All right, the other folded part of our kitty cat is gonna glue right here on the top. So we're gonna hang on to this flap, give it some adhesive, and I'm gonna go ahead and close these flaps so that you guys can see what I'm talking about. You want to attach this to the top of the box and it's gonna form a little, like, I don't know, dome on the top of our box. You can put your finger in here and hold on because it's open from the side. So you can put your finger in there to hold on to it until it is set and just make sure that it's flush with the front of your box. We still haven't closed the back yet. And you just wanna make sure that your little arch is nice and cute. All right, so there is our arch and it's attached onto our box. It will take a few minutes for that to really fully bond. You can open your box and push from the inside and underneath like this with one finger here and then three fingers or two or three fingers inside and really press that arch on there. Now we're gonna add our cat tail. And so our cat tail is going to be attached. So we're gonna add a little bit of glue and we're gonna add that to the back where that flap is and you wanna make it even with that flap. You know, the part that was, whoops, the part that was folded. You wanna attach that gotta find there's a straight edge on it so you want to attach that straight edge right to that flap there and then now that your tail is on you can seal your back okay so that will sandwich your tail inside and then that seam from the arched back. And again, you can just lay it down flat and push your bone folder and really get it to grab and adhere. All right, so there is what we have so far, okay? We have these flaps which are gonna close our box and then this flap and this flap. We're gonna curl these two flaps because it's gonna form the front of our cat, like the breast or the front chest of the cat. So let me close my glue before it gets dried out. And I'm gonna take my bone folder here. I'm gonna open my box. So I have somewhere to stick my fingers. I have one, my thumb underneath this curl and I'm just holding on and I'm gonna curl this piece. It doesn't have to be extreme. You just wanna add some curl to this front piece and then some curl to this bottom flap, which is forming, like I said, the chest of your little kitty.
okay? Because these are gonna cross like this and form another piece on the front, okay? And then these are just gonna close your candy inside your box. Are you guys with me so far? It's not too hard. Hopefully you guys are getting it. So I'm gonna use some black dimensionals because I'm adding the little feetsies to my kitty. Okay, so I'm gonna grab some black dimensionals. I'll use some minis. And we're gonna add, oops, one, two, one and two, on two of your half circles, okay? And we're gonna pull the backs off. Just make sure that they're nice and secure. And we're gonna do the two sides where the feet are. You know when a cat sits back on its haunches Okay, so on this side here, near the back where you just sealed, you wanna add one of these half circles, okay? And on the other side, you're gonna do the same thing. So you're gonna add another one right here. And just make sure they're flush with the bottom. And the reason we're using the black dimensionals is from the side, you won't see the white sticking out against that black because see how you can see underneath and on the side that dimension it gives. All right, so the other two feet are gonna go up here sticking out on this side. So I'm gonna grab my silicone mat, bring it back in here, okay? One's gonna go this way, one's gonna go this way. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of wet adhesive to the bottom like that. And we're gonna do one at a time. We're gonna put, we're gonna move this little curled part out of the way. We're gonna add one foot on the right, on the right side or the left side of the kitty, or whatever you wanna call it. See, there's one foot sticking out, okay? And then we're gonna add the other foot. And you just wanna make sure once you've attached these, that you don't wiggle it too much, okay? So see how it's a half circle and a half circle on the bottom? Just let those set. Whoops, see not enough glue there. I might have to add a little more glue. You definitely want to give them a chance to grab. You can um, just hang on, be patient, and give it a minute to grab. Or you can push with your fingers on the inside of your box, if you curl that in to get it out of your way, you can push down and it will grip and grab on the bottom, okay? You will have your cute little front feet. All right, so before I put any candy inside or anything, we're gonna work on our little chest area, okay? We want these to be attached together right here in a curved way. So I am going to use um, two uh, 3 8 inch thin Velcro. And I have these linked in the description. They're not very expensive and you can buy a pack of them. They're awesome. What I love is how thin they are. So they're pretty amazing. And they have a more cloudy side and a more translucent side. So you want the translucent side to be on this bottom section and the more cloudy side to be on the top where you're not gonna see it as much, okay? So we're going to cut these two separated. We're gonna separate them, okay? And we're gonna peel the top off of the um, cloudy side. And we're gonna add it to this corner of the top curled piece. And I have to make sure I have the cloudy side on top again, I do. I'm gonna peel the back off the cloudy side of my second one and we're gonna put it on this corner. All right, so now you have two Velcro dots, then you're gonna pull the back off or the clear part off so that the Velcro stays attached, but the sticky part is up now, okay? So I'm gonna peel these off. All right, 
So now this side is sticky and they're still attached together, the two pieces of Velcro. Make sure that the two side flaps are flat. You're gonna bring this in and this in and you want them to meet. So you're gonna check from the side that you have enough coverage and then you're going to press down on both of those sides there where that bows, where you have the front chest of the kitty, okay? like that and then once you have pressed it good and you know that it's nice and adhered you can pull and open your box so see the more translucent one is on the bottom and the more cloudy one is on the top so now we're going to go ahead and open i'm going to throw these little clear wrappers away before they end up on my craft room floor because anything like that has so much static right <laughs> all right so now we're gonna put our Franken cup, our Reese's Franken cup inside. All right, and we're gonna close our box. So one side and then the other, and then we're gonna bring, whoops, I don't wanna smash it down. One side and the other. And then we're gonna bring our chest, bottom chest in first, and then our top chest so that the Velcro grabs and grabs. All right, so that's where we're at right now. Okay, I think I have this one too low, I do. There we go. You want your little circles to match up. All right, so now here's where we're at. We have our kitty, we have our, our back arched, our tail on, our feet are on our kitty and the chest. So now it's time to add the head. So to make a bobble head, I have linked in the video description this little dongle, toggle, whatever you wanna call it that you use for your, to bobble the head, okay? So you can buy these, they're very inexpensive and um, they are amazing. So keep them in your stash. So you're gonna pull the solid end off first, okay? And you're gonna put your finger in here where the Velcro is and you're going to attach this in the center right here, kind of in the middle of that flap, okay? So just push down on all sides so that that adhesive stays attached right there, okay? And the beauty of these is that they're self-adhesive. You don't have to do any work. You don't have to um, try and make a coil or any fun things. And then the thinner pull-off is next. So you're gonna pull the thinner one. See, one's bigger, one's smaller. And then we're going to add our kitty cat's head to the thinner pull off. So you wanna sit him down, make sure his head is where you want it. And I do it right above this peak here, right under the nose, okay? So I'm gonna use that as my guide and I'm gonna make sure that it's attached directly underneath that little peak and I'm gonna press my kitty cat's face into that little mechanism, okay? and you can put your fingers in on the underside and make sure that it grabbed. And then next thing you know, you have a bobble head kitty cat. How cute is this project, guys? I love this project. I think it's super adorable and you can get my paper piecing pattern to make it and purchase all of the pro products um, from the link in the video description. So I appreciate you guys hanging out with me today while I put together our cute little bobblehead black cat treat box. Thanks for being a part of my Halloween 28 days. I hope that you will leave me comments and thumbs up and all that great stuff. Um, you guys mean so much to me. Thank you for leaving me comments and helping me with my channel. Um, by thumbing up my videos and leaving me comments. Comments and thumbs up help. So if you can't support me by joining the crew, I would appreciate the thumbs up and the comments because that is just as important. So thanks for hanging out and I will talk with you next time. I hope you enjoy my little kitty cat bobbleheads. <laughs> you have an amazing day, guys. So see you next time. This is Kelly with Inky Hands Warm Hearts. Happy stamping, my friends.